Tonight! I have no idea what time of day it is when you're watching this. But tonight! We're gonna do uh, the $1,000 PC video. I'll probably like peek the mic a little bit, right? It is May, and this may be the PC that you're about to upgrade to. Now, Ivy Bridge just came out, and that's a tick. It's not a talk. Now, remember, the talk is the big one because it sounds big because it's a talk. Talk. What do you think sounds bigger, a little tick or a talk? Definitely talk. Talk, yeah. So we've got the tick that came out. Now, if you've ever if you've ever uh, got a tick, well, you may get some kind of crazy fever. I have no idea. Let's just do a one thousand dollar PC video right now. Uh, I almost went with one of the Ivy Bridge um, chips, but for a gaming rig, that makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to go with an i7 if you're trying to keep it under a thousand dollars either, because most games, four cores, you're good to go. I'll give you guys some options, though, because I know some of you guys want to do rendering and all that, but um, let's get started here. I did decide to go with the Z77 motherboard. I like the new chipset. Uh, it's it's quite nice. It's, it's um, Intel's new LGA 1155 chipset of choice. Now, I chose the ASRock Z77 Extreme 4, and I seem to really like the ASRock boards because you get a lot for your money. They just cram them full of features, and this one has got everything. You can do it. It's got Crossfire, SLI. Uh, of course, it's, you know, Ivy Bridge. It's got their XFast technology, which they advertise that everything goes five times faster, but I'm sure it doesn't really in the real world go five times faster. That's just ridiculous. But it does have XFast. Also got their signature gold solid caps all over it. Uh, DigiPower, which they've kind of inherited from Asus, you know, the DigiPower VRM, uh, where they digitally monitor the voltage going around on the, on the motherboard. So that's nice. On the motherboard, VGA, uh, DVI and HDMI. You won't really be taking advantage of those without a um, without using an Ivy Bridge processor, but we're going to get a graphics card anyway, so who cares about all that? Um, there, there's a clear CMOS button on the back on your in and out um, area. Um, we've got four SATA 2, four SATA 3. This thing's loaded. Have you seen this thing yet, Wendell? The Z77 Extreme 4? No, but I've really been impressed with some of the stuff that asrock has been putting out lately, so it, it's not surprising. They put out really amazing things, and they and they're really inexpensive. Also, uh, 2800 uh, DDR3 it supports. Wow. So that's nice. And um, there's a system, uh, what, what, what do we have? Oh yeah, power and reset on the motherboard. So this is a loaded motherboard, and I really, really like it for the, for the, uh, for the uh, money. One more thing, in the uh, browser, there's something called the, I mean in the BIOS, there's something called the system browser. And it's something crazy they're doing. It's almost like the device manager inside the BIOS. Not quite as full featured, but you can really look and see all your different devices in the BIOS. So that's really cool too. So I chose that motherboard. For the CPU, still the i5. We're still using the 2500K. If you grab the OEM version of that, you can get those for around $210 online. 210 bucks for an i5. That is really awesome. Uh, but you're gonna wanna keep that cold and you're gonna wanna overclock the hell out of that. So uh, check out the Zygmatek. It's the AO1 or the AI0. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think that's a zero. Uh, S80DP. It's water cooling all-in-one kit, and it's 39 bucks. It's not going to work as good as like the uh, the Corsair H60 or the Corsair H80 or Corsair H100, H100. But it's 39 dollars, and it's going to be uh, cooler than any air cooling out there. Um, I, I'm going to warn you guys about this. Um, it, it does do a really good job, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to use just the right amount of thermal paste. You have to fix it. There's a. It's it's a little bit. Um, difficult to finagle when you're installing it. So be warned, it will keep things cold and it will let you easily overclock to four gigahertz with that. But there's there's also other options, yes. It may also be important uh, on the older self-contained uh, water cooling units, how, how it was oriented mattered. And right. so if you had it oriented the wrong way, you could see like a 10 degree swing. Right, so you, you'll definitely wanna check out the tutorials and make sure you follow the directions, but that one will allow you to overclock. And if you're getting the OEM CPU, you may as well get Something like that. If you guys can afford it, definitely go for like a Corsair H6080 or Corsair H100. You'll have uh, you'll be much happier. It's hard to beat a four gigahertz i5. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> if you're going to be playing games, that's going to be, and that's actually going to be better in my opinion uh, than the new 3470K. That's the Ivy Bridge processor because things those things like they'll they'll melt bacon, melt bacon. I'm I'm exhausted right now. By the way, I haven't slept in days because of those damn birds. <laughs> they just tweet all morning. <laughs> I'm going to kill the guy that made Twitter and made all those birds tweet. Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> You've just joined us for the bad joke hour. <laughs> all right. How about a GPU? Um, well, the um, 
the GTX 670 is about to come out by the time you're watching this video, if it's like a week from the time I'm making it, it may be out. Check the price on that. If it's $349, buy it right now. If it's not $349, uh, go for the Asus um, HD 7870. That's a that's a you know 7870 based, AM, 7870. That's an AMD Radeon. It's a 7870. Extremely fast. The GTX 670 is going to be a little bit faster than that. It'll compete more on along the lines of like a, um, a 7950. Anyway, if the 670 is out and it's the same price as the 7870, grab it. If it's three hundred ninety-nine dollars, that'll be about the same price as the seventy-nine fifty, and it's going to be faster than the seventy-nine fifty in most games. So, watch out for the Nvidia graphics cards. They're ridiculous. The six series graphics cards. All right, for the RAM, I chose the G Skill Sniper Series. It's eight gigabytes. You can find it for fifty-nine bucks. DDR3, of course. It's two uh, um, four gig sticks, so you're gonna have plenty of extra spots for RAM. You want to make sure you get an eighty plus. Uh, PSU, so I've chosen the OCZ Mod Extreme Pro 700 watt uh, modular power supply. Now, 700 watt will allow you to add some more things to your system, so you'll be just fine. As far as the case goes, uh, I wanted a case that had USB in the front, I wanted a case that had enough room, and I really like the, the cases that allow you to install the power supply on the bottom, but we don't want to go crazy since we're building a thousand dollar system. I have chosen the uh, Rosewill Ranger Gaming ATX case, 59 bucks. It's got everything you need, it's not too flashy. Then again, you can always, the case is something you can upgrade on your own if you, if you want to, if you want to get a better case, do so. Um, now, I'm going to I'm gonna get an SSD. Let, let's go for the Kingston. You can get a Kingston HyperX 3K. Now, the 3K that uses uh, Intel synchronous NAND flash, and that thing is going to last a long time. They're saying around eight years is how long those will last. So, really, really nice. Anyway, and they're also really fast faster than the vertex 4 the, the the same size vertex 4 and they get faster when you get larger but the 128 uh, the 120 gigabyte version is 139 bucks so just a little more than a dollar per gigabyte and those things are ridiculous they are absolutely insane and in real world we did real world tests with that with that i love it uh cd burner i'm getting the asus 24x dvd burner for 17 bucks total was 1100 dollars. i went over budget so if you want to keep it at a thousand what can we do well the easiest thing to do to, to bring it under a thousand would be to swap out the GPU for a less expensive GPU. You're going to lose a few frames per second, but you can grab a 60, uh, 6870 still for like $169, or and those things are ridiculous. If you see them on sale, sometimes they're on sale for 149. I think I saw one last week somewhere for 149. Those things are still really really fast, the 6870s. And I mean, if you if you get one of those, um, you know, you're going to save some money. If you want to save a little bit more money, you can swap out the uh, the Kingston HyperX for a mechanical drive. You can get a Seagate Barracuda, uh, one of the 5900 RPM drives for 99 bucks. The model number on that is ST1500DL003. Uh, those are nice drives. Now here's the cool thing: they're 100 bucks. If you wanted to get uh, the Radeon 6870, the Seagate Barracuda 1.5 terabyte drive, and the Kingston HyperX drive, you're still going to be under a thousand dollars. That's ridiculous. But for me, I'm going to go with the graphics card, and I'm going to get the i5, and I'm going to overclock the hell out of it. So I gave you guys a lot of options there. And like I said, I'm exhausted, so I'm kind of all over the place, stuttering and, and everything. So um, I'm not sorry, though. I said I was sorry to this rich guy one time, and he, like, grabbed me by the shirt. He's like, listen, kid, don't ever tell anybody you're sorry. It's a sign of weakness. And I said, I apologize. And he shook his head and walked away. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the video. Um, rate and subscribe. I think the button's up here. If it's not up there, I'll call Jesus and he'll put it right there for me. All right, I'll see you guys on Tech Syndicate. By the way, the forums. You guys, the, the site is doing really well. So if you haven't gotten on the site yet, get over there. Or I'll come to your house and put a snake down your pants while you're asleep. Pit Viper. Bite you right in your crotch.